Beyond the numerous techniques we have just discussed to come back as an ordinary vampire, there are a number of local vampire variants to consider. In China, there are the Zhongxi, the famous hopping vampires. Now, hopping may sound silly, and that is because it is. <laughs> it totally is. Here we do not have hemovores, which is a super fancy way of saying bloodsuckers, and I hope you were all really impressed. <laughs> but we do have creatures who drain from you your life force, in this case your qi, the animating force of Chinese metaphysics. So, you know, close enough. <laughs> a Jiangxi is created naturally when moonlight shines on a corpse, or when an animal jumps over it, reanimating it. These are obviously cautionary parables about not leaving corpses lying around, because, <laughs> because otherwise we're all totally going to. <laughs> Another method, well, people needed to be buried near their homes, you see, but sometimes they would die far away from them, and their families couldn't afford to hire a cart to bring them back. So, they would instead hire a sorcerer, which was apparently much cheaper than shipping, <laughs> to reanimate their loved ones and have them hop on back home to be buried. And sometimes this plan, which I think we can all agree sounds flawless, <laughs> nevertheless goes bad and the Jiangxi starts devouring people's cheese. In Poland, if you were a baby or a child and you die unbaptized, you will come back as a vampire called a Ustrol. Some Christian traditions allow for limbo and afterlife where un unbaptized babes can dance around in circles and generally mind their own business, and this all has to do with bending backwards under sticks, apparently, for very good reasons that none of us will ever know. <laughs> in Poland, vampire! <laughs> if you're a Eustral, what you will do is you will attach yourself literally to the undersides of cows and just feed off of them continually, switching cows as the current one drops. <laughs> and so, some farmers in Old Poland would have what, what was called a need fire, where they would run all their cows through a large open flame until a Eustral dropped off of one of them. <laughs> also, wolves specifically hated Eustrals, so you were advised to let some wolves hang around your cows. <laughs> Listen, I am not in fact a farmer, but these just somehow seem like bad ideas. <laughs> For more vampires, techniques and tips on how to become them, the actually really weird and interesting reasons why Jiangxi's hop, and how to become various sorts of ghosts, zombies, mummies, Nazgul, and other gonzo undead weirdness as well, how to come back from the dead, we'll be playing at Mixed Blood. Come and see.